<laughs> extinguish! Extinguish! No! What the? Oh my gosh! Hey everybody, this is Julie Kagawa and welcome back to Wildwood Orphanage! And we have llamas on the brain! And the reason that we have llamas on the brain is the Finchwick Llama Fair is on Saturday, so two days from now. So we've got to do a lot of work to get this llama ready for competition. So let's pet our llama and we'll tell him some jokes about llama wool. Apparently llamas have a great sense of humor. Nope, and all the kids are home. Here they all come. All my little angels. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh goodness. Kids, what are you doing? They're freezing to death. Oh no, look at them. Oh no, oh no, they look like zombies. Oh no, wait. Kids, why aren't you wearing your winter clothes? Everybody, it's freezing outside. Get inside. Go warm yourself by the fire. All right, all of you kids need to change into your winter outfits. Okay, crisis averted. Everybody's in their winter outfits. I guess it's pretty cold inside here. Sorry, guys, we really don't have central air. You're gonna have to be a little cold. Okay, Megan, since you're the one who wants this llama to win, you're gonna come with me. All right, we are here. Where is here, you might ask? Well, here is the closest lot to where we need to go. And who we need to go see is this person right over here. Buy animal clothing. Let's hope Mr. Keeper... Creeper Keeper... Creeper? Creeper Creature? Cre keeper! Creature Keeper... Jeez. Let's hope Mr. Creature Keeper has some good uh, llama clothes. Cottage core for llamas. All right, let's, uh, sure, we'll buy this one. Offer to help with errands. What do you need us to do, Mr. Creeper Creeper? Watch three rabbits. Oh, I can watch rabbits. We have so many of them. Those rabbits, they won't know which way they're being watched. That sounded creepy. Megan, let's go home. For some reason, everybody is wearing dirty clothing. Stop slacking and clean some laundry. I have been cleaning laundry. That's all I do. Do you see all these children? I do nothing but laundry. <laughs> Glitch, if you're cold, change into your winter outfit, which looks just like your normal outfit, so it shouldn't matter. Puck, you look so sad. Why are you so sad? Oh, yeah, that's right. He's going through a phase where he... He just wants to wear his bear costume and nothing else. Okay, I need to go watch some bunny. Here's a bunny. Peter, come here. Give rabbit report to creeper keeper. To creature keeper. Oh, ugh. Megan and Ash are getting along so well right now. They're about to become best friends forever. This is going to be very cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Megan, are you crying? Yeah. Alright, everybody, it's time for bed. Yeah. And Pucky's in his bear costume. Bye. Tomorrow is the big day, Mr. Nick. Oh, hello, Grimalkin. What's this? A fire opal. Where did you find a fire opal? Alright, we're gonna go to the creeper teacher. Creeper, creeper, keeper, creeper. Cre -ke creature keeper? I can't say that word for anything. Give rabbit report. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends I scraped together to show my appreciation. Ooh, what did we get? A chicken fez. Okay, oh, here we go. The amazing Technicolor neck warmer. Let's get that. Thanks. We're spending a lot of money on this llama. Kids should be home in three, two, one. Puck is still moping about his bear costume. It's unbearable being you, I know. Oh, I have an idea. Let's let's build a snow pal. Maybe that'll cheer him up. Puck, get over here. Build a snowman. Build a snowman with me. Come on. There we go. Come on, Puck. Build a snowman with me. He's beautiful. <laughs> yes, he's beautiful. What are the rest of you doing? Snowball fight? Oh, hey, that sounds fun. Puck, get in there. This is less a snowball fight and more of a stand in a circle and throw snow at each other. You're all terrible shots. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, Leah got knocked down. Oh, Ash. Oh, oh, man. Ash is getting pelted. Well, at least you guys are hitting now. It's getting late, guys. It's getting cold. We all need to stop this. Oh, we're going to freeze. Everybody go inside. Of course. Well, who didn't see that coming? Your troll, Rowan. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Somebody help Puck. Oh, my gosh. Extinguish. Oh, extinguish. No. What the? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. Oh, my goodness. 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 Oh, my goodness.
this? Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, Puck. What? What the heck just happened there? Singed from previously being on fire. Uh, <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, that was scary. Hey. All right, how are the rest of the kids taking it? You guys are freaking out. All right, girls, girls, it's okay. The fire is out. The fire is out. The fire is out. You can come back in. That was very close today, Puck. You almost became a crispy critter. All right, everybody. It's been an exciting day, but I think we all need to go to bed. Uh, the boys are in bed. The girls are in bed. Leah is tense. Why is Leah tense? Oh, from the fire. Yeah, I, I suppose that'll leave a lasting impression. And Puck is back in his bear suit. Ugh, Rowan. Rowan? It sucks that it's the weekend because you are about to get grounded again. Go ground Rowan. He deserves it. It's a little troll. It's going on. It's almost as if someone is controlling her life. Will Arthur finally fulfill her dreams? Or will whoever is controlling her life stop her wishes from coming true? Well, that's very meta. Fear of unfulfilled dreams? Arthur will occasionally become upset with her life direction. Well, I'm sorry. You're a wannabe writer who runs an orphanage. No computer for you. Make better decisions. Don't be the worst. Why is everybody wearing filthy clothing? I've been doing laundry. Alright, everybody take care of yourselves. Today is the fair. Today we have to take Nick Bottom to the llama competition. How do you get so dirty so quickly? I literally brushed you yesterday. You can't stay clean for one afternoon? Agonoi. What was that look, Megan? I saw that eye roll. We have some things that we're going to give to Nick Bottom. So we can dress him in a cottagecore outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at him. Professor Bottom, Professor Bottom. Oh my, yes. He looks fabulous. I think we're going to keep him in this one. Good. Oh. What? Oh, what? Now that you're all fancy, you don't like my jokes? Maybe I will make you Professor Bottom. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> this llama seems to have a better sense of humor. But I think we are going to keep him as the amazing Technicolored Llama. Ah. Just because he's flashy. That look says, I deserve to win this competition. Whoa. Oh no! Oh no, not again! Oh, extinguish so quick, quick, quick! <laughs> Another fire? It's because you didn't clean the lint tray. <laughs> Take a shower. Rowan, do not make a mess. Don't you do Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to uh, round you again. Oh, All right, so, yeah, no phone. No phone and no computer. You've been double grounded. It has been an interesting day. All right, who is this? Chat with Titania Summer. Hello. Um, what are you doing here? Okay. Uh, Titania Summer is in my house. No, no, don't, don't start that. Do not start the fire. No. Uh, <clears throat> we're just gonna, um, yeah, we're just gonna do this. No, no more fire. Hey, yeah, do you want to go dance with Titania? Do it, do it. Dance with Titania. It'll be fun. Guys, it's almost time for the festival. Yep, there it goes. The Pitchwick Fair has started. You're gonna travel to the fair. And we're gonna take everybody. Tanya, we'll take you two. Here we are, kids. I think this is the llama competition booths. Oh no, this is llama wool. Where is the llama entry? So I didn't realize you needed a llama in your inventory. So I have to go home and get Nick Bottom. I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna go home. Put Nick in my pocket, apparently. Here oh, come on, Nick. Ah, come on, fabulous say, huh? boy. Now, how do I get him into my inventory? Aha! Put in inventory. All right, Nick, come on. We're going to the fair. Oh. All right, everybody. <laughs> this way to the competition. We're gonna submit the entry right in here. He's judging the llamas. Yes. yes, you love my llama. Look how lovely he is. Look into his llama eyes. You are entranced. You want him to win. Attempt to bribe judge? No. I don't need to bribe judge because obviously this is the most wonderful llama there ever was. Don't, don't worry, those kids are all mine. Yeah, they're all mine. They're actually being good. Uh, the bear is mine too. Um, just ignore him. He's, he's going through a phase. 
What is he saying? This is one really grooving llama. Look at it and it's bad self. That's right. That's right. He is a bad llama. Let's see the competition. What a sweet, happy llama. Look at its llama face. You're not as good as Nick. What? Third place, llama. Third place. Well, kids, we didn't get first place. But at least Nick Bottom won something. Well, Nick, you didn't win first place. But you are the number one llama in my book. And maybe next time, the amazing Technicolored Llama will bring home the blue ribbon.